are in the Dishabe municipality in the Eastern Free State. This is where the DA in the Dishabe municipality has accused the MEC of Cocta in the Free State of interfering with the issues of uh, the municipality. This is after uh, the MEC took the matter of uh, the election of the Speaker of uh, this municipality to the High Court interdicting that election and the interim decision of the court up to so far is that the speaker should not assume his role as the speaker and just to take you back as to what has happened in this municipality uh, what happened last year is that uh, the DA uh, councillor was uh, elected as the speaker of this municipality uh, in the Shabe municipality ANC is dominating but the DA the DA councillor was elected rather as the speaker in this municipality and thereafter that's when we started seeing issues of political infighting uh, where we saw even the ANC um, some of the ANC councillors calling for the expulsion of uh, the ANC executive mayor in this uh, municipality. So this is the condition currently. The DA is accusing the MEC and saying that a service delivery has uh, been affected in this municipality because there is no speaker and they are unable to hold critical meetings uh, that uh, where they will be able to discuss issues of service delivery and some of the issues uh, here in the Shabe municipality includes uh, poor uh, structure of roads in this municipality, the roads in the CBD of Bethlehem, which is the main city of this municipality, uh, the roads are very poor. And uh, recently, the issues that have been raised on the ground by residents are issues of water, where residents have been com complaining with the quality of water. And at some point, the residents were not uh, being able to get uh, water from their taps. But to take us through some of these issues, I have with me the DA chief whip in the Dishabe municipality who will take us through some of uh, these issues. Thank you very much for joining us. Just take us through. You are saying that the MEC is interfering with issues of service delivery here. Yes, uh, our view as the DA is that uh, the MEC uh, is interfering and is misusing his powers as the MEC of Cocta in the Free State by interdicting decisions taken by a legitimate council meeting uh, that elected uh, Councillor Mutlone to be the speaker, uh, who happens to be from the DA. Um, as you can see, the, the state of um, our road infrastructure is so bad that we cannot afford, we cannot afford to have a, a municipality without a speaker, because if you don't have a speaker, you don't have a structure that calls council meetings. And without council meetings, we cannot take critical decisions in terms of work that must be done here, in terms of the water quality in this municipality, in, in terms of non-delivery of services to rate-paying uh, residents of this municipality. Now, SDA, we are saying, uh, now that the case is in, in High Court, we hope that, like it happened in Swane, the same thing that will, will happen in the Free State to say uh, the MEC cannot and should not interfere in the runnings of the municipalities whilst there is a legitimate council elected by this, the people of this municipality to run their own affairs. But now what the MEC is saying is that uh, the council did not follow proper procedures. Do you believe that you did follow proper procedures in the council when you, you were electing uh, the speaker? Uh, it is interesting that he is ra raising that particular issue because the, the, the meeting that set on the 30th of November last year, that elected the mayor, uh, the, the speaker, by the way, um, was a subsequent to two meetings that have failed. Because in the first meeting, we were in council and we, we were sprayed with pepper spray. So we had to move out. During the second meeting, we, we were at council and um, people were singing there and we could not go on with our own meeting. In that particular meeting, that's how, that was supposed to take place. Uh, the, MM, the MM did not pitch up to the meeting. And as a person who was supposed to chair that particular meeting, we could not go on. And the, the reason we received from the MM was that he was held hostage. And we said to him, it's fine that he was held hostage. He must go and open up a case against those who held him hostage, uh, prevent him from doing his job. Now, the meeting of the 30th was the third meeting that we wanted to have 
and we made everything possible to, to that that meet must happen. It is interesting that he is raising that particular meeting, uh, that particular issue, because last year during the passing of the budget here, the meeting was delayed, and it instead of it happening uh, taking place at ten, it took place at two in the uh, in the afternoon. So the same precedent that was set then happened now. That is why we are saying it can't be that for for the passing uh, adoption of a budget. Uh, delaying is accepted, but when we say we have legitimate issues, we have been pepper sprayed, uh, we waited outside for the pepper spray to subside so that we can go on with our, with our work, then we are taken to court. I'm saying uh, the MEC must not abuse his powers, he must not interfere in the running of this municipality. We want to service the people of this municipality and we are not interested in the factional battles of, within the ANC that uh, ensured no, that, that made it possible that uh, uh, Councillor Mutong is elected. We support Councillor Mutong as a speaker as we have been supporting their speakers and we want him to do his job.